Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a real versus fake Converse All-Star for shoes. And I do these videos for those of you who are online shoppers, thrift store shoppers, garage um, sale shoppers. In case you ever pick up a product and you want to know if it's legit or not, I'm going to be able to tell you if it's real versus fake. So these are two different pairs of Converse All-Stars. As you can see, these are older. Um, some of the branding has started to rub off, but both of these are authentic Converse shoes. So with that being said, I compare these two different shoes. One of these are for men. This is my husband's shoe. This is my daughter's shoe. And so they have things that are identical. And with that being said, that lets you know what to look for if you own a pair of shoes. This is how you can tell if they're real or fake. So we're going to start with the back. So the Converse All-Star has the logo Converse All-Star and the Converse has a star in the center on both shoes, the male and female version, and they have All-Star at the bottom. Now I want you to pay attention to these rows here. One, two, three, four, five. That's very important. It's on both shoes. This red pinstripe is their trademark signature that's painted around the shoe. But what I really want you to look at and I don't know if my camera will pick it up. It's the textures. Okay, red line is gonna be a smooth line. The second white strip is gonna be a smooth line as well. But when you get down to this white line, it's gonna be textured. So I don't know if the camera picks up on it, but it's sort of, it looks like a bunch of little diamonds. This line will be smooth, and then this line again will be textured. And I notice when I do a lot of real versus fake videos, the um, companies put a lot of detail into their brands and a lot of the fakes or knockoffs don't pick up on those minor details. Next is the stitching on the back of the shoes. So notice on both pairs of shoes, the male and female shoes, they have the two rows of stitching, two rows of stitching there. And even across the back top, there are two rows of stitching there. So you want to pay careful attention to stitching whenever buying a brand name product because they do take the time to trademark and they take the time to put quality into the stitching that goes into their product. Okay, so okay, so when I look at the sides of their shoes, a couple of things stand out to me. Again, you want to look at the details. Pay attention to the different textures here. So you got red smooth line at the front of the shoe, the white smooth, which is a continuation. And then here on the front shoe, they have the different textures. So we've got the lines going here diagonal. Then we've got the 3D diamond looking shapes. And then if you look closer, we have those up and down lines. And then we have yet another texture there. So if you have shoes that you think may be a knockoff, pay attention because again, brands put a lot of detail into their shoes and that makes them original. And whenever there are knockoffs, they normally don't pay attention to little details like this. So if this entire surface on your shoe is smooth, or if this entire surface on your shoe is one or two textures, and it's not the same texture, then they are fake. And you can see the same thing with her shoe versus his shoe. They have that red smooth line. The next line under it is the white smooth line and then the diagonals, and then the 3D di diamonds, and then they have two other rows. One row is vertical lines, and then that final row at the bottom. So again, pay attention to the details of the shoes. Okay, so when I turn the shoes on the opposite side, a detail that I would notice is the two eyelets on the insides of both pairs of shoes. They both have those two eyelets there. So check your shoes, make sure that they have those two eyelets. And then we're gonna look on the insides of the shoes next. Okay, so companies are starting to get really smart. I've noticed a lot of products, they now have scan codes. This is what's called the QR code, that little square looking shape there. That's a quick response code. And there are apps out now where you can actually scan that code and it should be able to tell you what shoe this is. This is my husband's shoe. Again, this is the man's shoe. It's the size 10. 
and then um, it has the made in Vietnam and it has gender unisex. And then my daughter's um, on the inside tongue of her shoe. Wait for the camera to focus here. Hers says the made in Vietnam as well, and she has the converse. It does say gender unisex, and it has that QR scan code as well. And again, that's the quick response code. But on the inside of the shoe, it has converse, and notice that logo. It has the C with the star on the inside. So those are the details that you want to look out for. And then lastly, if I turn around the front of the shoe, pay attention to the tongue on the outside. Both of them have converse. Waiting for the camera to focus. Both of them have converse, all star, and the stitching again, both of them are the same. I see the stitching around the tongue of the shoe and then there is stitching around the actual patch of the shoe there. That's on the male sh or my husband's shoes since they're unisex shoes. And then if I look at my daughter's shoes, same deal. She's got the stitching around the tongue of the shoe and then that stitching around the patch of the shoe. And that is what that tab should look like. It should say Converse with the star on the inside of the name and then All Star with the star in the middle. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed yet another video on Real versus Fake. So if you are on the lookout for a pair of Converse shoes and if you're ordering them online, these are things that you should be looking out for. Converse shoes, last I checked, started around $45 or so. So if your shoes are half that price, you know right off the bat that they're not legit Converse shoes. Um, so take care, buyer beware, be a savvy shopper, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.